So this is an opportunity for me to walk you through my kitchen and tell you kind of what it is that we did with Reborn Cabinets. Now, I'll try to impose a picture, see if I can click on the right thing and get a picture up there and you can get an idea of what the old kitchen looked like. Uh, you could see the old yellow oak and you could see the green paint. We had to get rid of that. They didn't bother with that. But the old oak cabinets were definitely not something that we were going to live with. Uh, because this was going to be a home that we wanted to really put our signature and our stamp on. So we call Reborn Cabinets and one of their designers comes in and we sit down and go over a bunch of different options. So starting over here, um, there was a double oven in here before and we wanted to keep it a double oven just for my wife's cookie baking. That's the only reason. And since the hole was already here, it had to be changed just a slight bit. The cabinet had to be altered. Reborn Cabinets come in, alters it exactly to the specifications of this oven. Um, the doors themselves, as you can see, these are all brand new doors with great hinges that you cannot slam as much as you try. And trust me, my mother tries whenever she's here. Um, those will save marriages and probably family relationships. Everything else that you see has been refaced in some way through the signature refacing process. Not the doors, the doors are new, but they are matching the, the uh, panel that goes on above the boxes that is glued on, pasted on, however you wanna call it, whatever magic they use, I'm not sure. Uh, we go over to the cooktop. Cooktop is a new cooktop to us because the old one had been there for 20 years and it was starting to show some signs of life, if you wanna call it that. Um, but they also had a microwave above the range, which is pretty common, but we wanted to free that space up. We wanted this to look more like uh, a centerpiece to the kitchen, especially from across the room. Reborn Cabinets designed and built this for us custom. Part of the reason that they did that was because a range uh, hood this size would have cost several thousand dollars if you were to buy it off the shelf or have it designed and built by someone else. So they were able to come in and give us this hood with its own fan system and everything for a much better price. We went with some of the glass doors also. Obviously they weren't here before. And these glass doors give us an opportunity to show off some of our plates, dishware, whatever we choose. And we know that that's gonna be a big deal if, when we ever sell the house. Same thing over here with uh, the, the cabinets themselves. Basically the same footprint and same design of the original kitchen. Just cleaning it up, making it nicer, making it lighter. And my wife said she chose these light cabinets, nice neutral colors, so that whenever you have a pop of color, I don't know what that means, but she says it all the time, it's a good thing. The only major difference between the new kitchen that we have and the one that we had before is right here. We took down an entire cabinet because there's plenty of storage, as you can see. And we wanted to be able to display some fun stuff in the kitchen. Uh, so the cabinet was removed. They prepped the wall for painting and everything, just like it would be a normal wall. The other thing we did was there were four drawers right down here. And we changed that to a garbage and recycling pullout. Easy access to the rest of the kitchen, easy access to outdoors as well. And if you come over here, you can see the side of the island also is the gray that matches the hood. But we decided to go with this as part of the ongoing conversations with our designer from Reborn as just a nice difference between the white of the cabinets, the gray of the island, matching with the wood top on the island. Um, all of this was put together and reformulated a couple of times by us and by our designers. And as you can see, I think uh, we're pretty